Previously on the bill. That's what town I was undercover with him for eight months. I'm a police officer, Rob. You were with me. This is good. It's beautiful. Belongs to my love. Sierra Oscar 2 1, show us dealing with the disturbance of Broad Lane Social Club. It's a bit early to be kicking out drunk, isn't it? It's never too early in this place. It's like a wild west on weekends. All of them the best of mates that I've had of you. Your man there's Jimmy Russett. Don't look too dangerous. It's just his previous ABH demanding money of menace class A drugs, eh, Jimmy? I just want the watch back, all right. I don't know anything about Danny's watch, I told you. All right, why don't we calm down, OK? What's going on? Someone's had my granddad's watch away, and I'm betting he knows who. Every bit of hooky gear for miles goes through his hands at some time or another. OK, let's all take a deep breath, shall we? Now, what's your name? Ian Harper. My granddad's a regular here. Give me Russell, sweetheart. I just walked into the back office and I found her hustling my customers. I asked her to leave and she kicked off. All right, Mr. Russell, should we talk about this inside? Call me Jimmy, darling. All right, then. So what's this about your granddad? He's got this watch. He's had it since he was a teenager. It's a 60s original. Me and Patrick just had it valued. And Patrick is? My fiance. He said it's worth at least 500. We told Grandad to stop carrying it about with him. But he didn't take any notice. And now it's missing. Someone here must have half inched it. Grandad had it when he set off here yesterday, and when he got home at half ten, it was gone. I'm telling you, the old place is full of villains. Danny Harper's a mug, sweetheart. He's always flashing that stupid watch off. I'm amazed that I ain't been hit before the way he waves it about. That's not a confession, is it, Jimmy? Oh, he let us sweat a confession out of me, darling. <laughs> That's not saying I'll object. One, two, four, five. See that? I made a number disappear. So, Danny Harper was definitely in here last night? Same as always. He came in, what? About three, left about ten. Must have spoken to a fair few people. Danny speaks to everyone, whether they want him to or not. He's a right chatty type when he's out of view. It don't get me wrong, he's a lovely fella. But he's not a lot of men here. Two points, and I think there's 16 again. Can I have a look at the CCTV footage from last night, please? Of course you can, darling. That's Danny there. To his usual table, halfway between the stage and the gents. So he can see the show and still get to the bar on the lobby. Why, well, thanks, Jimmy. You can carry on with your business. You're in my office. This is my business. Right, so he's given him some money. Danny sold the watch. Isn't that that guy from outside, that magician? Great Danvers, yeah. Did a show here last night. You mind if I have a quick word? Crack away. Hi, Jimmy. You haven't ordered me a strip of gram, have you? I'm sorry, officer, I'm only joking. You must get sick of that one. Don't hate him for it. He's got punchline Tourette's. He can't help himself. Hello, you must be the mind bender. Amongst my many other talents, Drake Danvers. This is my far better half. Nicole. I'm PC Sally Armstrong. So, did you have a show here last night? Yeah. I got a residency. Like uh, Sinatra at Vegas. I mean, Vegas is better than Canley, but I'm much better looking than our blue eyes. Is he always like this? You should try living with it. She's crazy about <laughs> me, really. Did you talk to a Danny Harper before the show? Danny, yeah. Uh, we did a bit of business. He sold me a watch. Really? Yeah, uh, 500 quid. It's a memorabilia piece. Uh, there's no law against uh, collecting junk, is there? Not that I know of. <laughs> what is it? Don't move. Bit of a wild night last night, was it? That is a pretty old trick. A pretty expensive prop, too. Well, I've managed to calm Leanne down a bit and send her on to her granddad. Well, I doubt she's going to stay calm for long when she realises that Danny's been lying to her. He sold the watch. Case closed. Oh, no, it isn't. That mouthy car came down the house in my pantlers. She called me a thief. Half the magistrates in London called you a thief, Jimmy. Not telling me you're going to sue, are you? No. But I don't want her coming down here screaming the odds again. Go put a strike. OK, OK. I'll do it. I was the one that spoke to her. This is PC Gale, Grandad. He's been looking into what's happened to your watch. 
This is Patrick, my fiance. I told you not to go worrying yourself about my watch. I must have lost it somewhere. He hasn't lost it. Someone's nicked it. I'm telling you, someone at the club. No, we don't actually think it was stolen. Why? Because that Jimmy Russett said so. I won't put anything past him. We're checking local pawn brokers. He'd have locked it by now. Jimmy hasn't got my watch. I'm afraid Danny's right. So where is it? Danny sold it, didn't you, mate? You don't half know how to spot a surprise, mate. Sold it? Why don't you tell us, you daft old beggar? You see the trouble Leanne nearly got into? I knew you were struggling to pay for that wedding dress you want, so I thought I'd help you out. You shouldn't have, Grandad. It's just a dress. Who did you sell it to? That magician fella. Drake Danvers. What'd he do? Hypnotise you into getting rid of it? No, it was a legitimate sale, Mr... Stanley. I've got the money. Yeah. And that envelope. 500, like you said it was worth. Where's it gone? I don't believe this. I lost it. I must have fallen out of my pocket. I'll never get it back. So the money fell out of your pocket, but the envelope didn't? I don't know. Okay, when was the last time you remember seeing the money? Outside the club, I suppose. Okay, and did you count it? No. You okay, Miss Harper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine, fine. Okay, so the last place you remember seeing the money was in the club, yeah? Yeah, I guess, yeah. And did you count it when it was given to you? No, not exactly, no. How could you be so stupid? Drake's a mate of Jimmy's. He's not gonna do me over, is he? You okay? Huh. Do you need some water? Calm down, the old duff is always losing things. Don't talk about Grandad like that. <clears throat> Mr. Harper. <clears throat> Danny. Granddad? Can't breathe. Granddad. Siros from 795. Ambulance required a male with chest pains at number 37 Fenton Street. Over. <clears throat> okay, mate. Okay, so this guy, Drake Danvers, he comes in from the left. He conned money out of Danny Harper. Ben's with him at the hospital now. He collapsed when he realised the money had gone. Do you want to see? He's quite good. She this magician thing. Yeah, look. There's nothing clever about that. He's just distracting him with one hand and switching the envelopes with the other. He gives him back an empty one. It's called a switch. What do you know about that? Well, I used to be a magician's assistant. What, to pull you out of his hat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's just a classic street hustle, isn't it? I saw it a lot in Manchester. How's Danny doing? Oh, the ambulance took into St. Hughes. It should be all right, just his angel on playing up. Must have been a shock, at least 500 quid. And for my next trick, I shall make your officers disappear. Go for it. Well, someone's got to go and arrest this magician, haven't they? <laughs> This should be the house, according to Toyota's register. I can't believe the poor guy's real name is Drake Danvers. <laughs> I suppose a name like that was never really going to have a normal job, was it? Oh, normal like ours, you mean? Yeah. That's Nicole. Nicole? Zero from Nicole, 795. Ambulance required at 30. Calvary Way. Female with head injuries. Over. She's out cold. There's no obvious sign of entry. Saying it must have caught her when she opened the front door. Yeah, her uh, keys were found on the floor by the steps. Known for a handbag, wallet, credit card, all intact. They confirmed Sally's idea the victim is Nicole Pickering. And you say the boyfriend conned someone out of her watch last night? Yeah, uh, Drake Danvers. The magician? Yeah. I've seen him. Actually, he played the CID Association party last year. He's not bad. Good close-up magic, but he's like a lot of this new breed. Wants to sell it as some kind of mind-reading trick. What? I like magic. All right. So you think this is revenge for the watch? Yeah, well, Danny Harper's family are pretty upset. Can you imagine that his engine? I know text made him feel any better. Nothing from the neighbours. Didn't see anything. Okay. Ben, if you can get down to St. Hughes, speak to Danny Harper's family again, see where they were at the time of the attack. Sally, if you could continue door to door, please. I'll get Smithy to muster up some more uniform, get them to start looking into the victim's background, work colleagues, friends, that kind of thing. Shall we look at the house? See if it's been ransacked? Mm. What this box is supposed to be. Seemingly got no hinges, no lid. Gov, I have no idea how any of this stuff works. Mm. No rabbit, then. Gov? Got half a dozen receipts here from a pawnbroker's on Shipley Street. 
There's one from today, a 1960s gold watch, 500 quid. Well, we know that he conned Danny out of that one. And if all the rest of these are con jobs too, then only one of them could be suspects for the assault. All right, well, I'll get on to Smithy then, get him to get someone to pick the stuff up. You two go and arrest Drake Danvers for stealing the watch. I'll run an FIU, see if we can connect the cash payments from the pawnbrokers to his account. Go. <laughs> I don't nod your head for at least a week. <laughs> so how do you want to play this then? You want to go up and nick him? No, I might as well let him finish his act. We don't want to riot on our hands, do we? Right, I need a volunteer for this next one. How about you, sir? Oh, come on, don't be shy in front of your girlfriend, mate. I'm not going to reveal any of your secret past. <laughs> <laughs> come on, give him a big hand. Rikey, you have been round the block a bit, haven't you? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> they don't oh, oh. They don't last long, now, do they? <laughs> hey, I'll watch this one, love. <laughs> right, I want you to draw the first thing that comes into your head. No, 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 stop thinking about strippers. <laughs> You're far too young. Now, seal it up. OK. Thank you. Right, you're happy that's sealed in that envelope, are you? If you say so. Oh, hello. We've got an unbeliever. <laughs> right, I want you to put that envelope up against your head with one hand so you know I can't mess with it. Think you can manage that? I shall now attempt to draw the same thing as you have concealed in that envelope. <clears throat> Tell them what you drew. An aeroplane. Ladies and gentlemen, an aeroplane! Well, don't be shy. Show me a picture. <laughs> I knew you were thinking about them strippers. My name's Drake Danvers. You can see my full show later on. Till then, try and stay alive. You were very good. No, I don't... Oh, hang on, I'll call you back. You're after an autograph. I'm DC Stevie Moss, Sun Hill. This is DC Fletcher. That wasn't that bad, was it? No, we just wanted to ask you a few questions. Fire dragon. Sorry? Your necklace is a salamander. A fire dragon. I like it. Whoever picked that out knew you well. We just want to know if you... You still seeing him? Who? The bloke who gave it to you. My mum gave it to me, actually. Is your girlfriend Nicole Pickering? Yeah, why? She's at St Hughes. She was attacked on your doorstep. I've got to get up there. Is she OK? I'm afraid you can't go and see her just yet. What? Is it serious? What's going on? Drake, I'm sorry, but you need to come with us. We believe that you conned Danny Harper out of some money last night. What? He sold me his watch. Drake Danvers, I'm arresting your suspicion of theft. You don't have to say anything, but now I'm going to talk to you. Hi. DC Moss, yes. Can I get a unit down to Broad Lane Social Club to transport a prisoner back to them, please? Drew, a blank on the door to door at Drake's place. <sighs> Both our prime suspects have alibis. Patrick and Leanne followed the ambulance to the hospital. They arrived just before one. So neither of them could have assaulted Nicole. Great. So how's Danny? Suffering the biggest come down of his life. Seems like his heart problem wasn't caused by angina. They found traces of cocaine in his system. What? His age? I thought his party of days would be well over. Oh, it's hard to quit when your best mate's a drug dealer. Jimmy? Everyone's got four. Sierra Oscar 2 1 from IBO. Go to Broad Lane Social Club, meet Sierra Oscar 5. Transport for one prisoner. Go on, you take riffs. Give me a chance to have a word with Jimmy. Look, just take me to the hospital first, yeah? I need to know she's okay. Seems like the socials, the usual hotbed for illegal TV. Yeah, tell me about it. Give me a minute, yeah? You didn't see Danny Harper yet? Yeah. Popped up, took him some sherbet lemons and a copy of Mojo. Why? How about a lot of sherbet, do you? I don't get your meaning, mate. You're talking about Danny using cocaine. Nah, never. Silly old scrope. No wonder he's always talking people's ears off. And you wouldn't have any idea where he's getting that from now, would you? Of course not. 
No, he wouldn't be buying it here, for instance. No, it's a thought. Oh, I'm a very strict anti-drugs policy. I ought to know it's up in the toilet and everything. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Because I'd hate to see you lose your licence. I will keep a very sharp eye out for any scallywaggery officer. I assure you. You make sure you do. Because I'll be logging it on crimin. And popping in whenever I'm in the area. <sighs> Great. Right, where are we at with the Harpers? Well, I spoke to Leanne and Patrick. They arrived at the hospital the same time as Danny, which gives them an alibi for Nicole's attack. OK. And the stolen goods? I picked this lot up from the pawnbroker because it basically tallies with everything in the receipt you found at Danvers house. OK, well, can you go through the goods from the pawnbroker, see if there's anything to identify any of the owners? Maybe one of them decided to get their own back. Where's Drake? Will's booking me now, and he's not a happy man. Just wants to go to St Hughes and see his girlfriend. Maybe a con man, but he's not faking how he feels about her. They're crazy about each other. Yeah, I'm with Sally on this one, girl. He just wants to be with her. Well, the FIU didn't show any payments that matched the amounts he received from the pawnbrokers. Regular weekly check from the Broad Lane Social Club. One or two additional payments from legitimate companies hiring him, and that's it. So whatever he's doing with the money from the thefts, it's not going into his account? I just got off the phone from St Hughes. Nicole Pickering's fit to be in the good. Right, well, you and Stevie get over there, see what she's got to say about who attacked her. When we've got her side of the story, let me know. We'll interview Drake. OK, thanks, guys. Stopped off at home on my way back to work. I was just putting my key in the door when someone has grabbed me by the hair just as I was opening the door. You see what they look like? What they were wearing? No, it all happened really fast. It was just a blur. Did your attacker say anything to you? Did you say anything to them? Call out? I must have said something. I, I think I screamed. Where's Drake? Can you think of any reason why someone would want to attack you? It was a mugging. They were after my bag, weren't they? Well, we found your bag at the scene, so... Do you know anything about Drake going to a pawnbroker? What? No. What's that got to do with anything? Where is he, anyway? Haven't you told him I'm here? I'm afraid we've arrested Drake for theft. What? But what's he supposed to have stolen? He's not a thief. Has he had any money worries recently? More money than usual? We don't really talk about money. He looks after his and I look after mine. I only moved in a couple of months ago. He's not a thief. I know he isn't. How well do you know him? I met him about six months ago. He came into the agency looking for representation. He acted like he owned the world. He was well given it the large. He didn't get beat up. He looked crushed when he came out, like a little boy who dropped his ice cream. I just fell for him on the spot. He's a bit of a charmer. That's just the stage stuff. He's a really genuine bloke when you get to know him. And he's funny. He once said that he'd walk over broken glass for me. Only I'd know it was a trick. Look, I'm really tired. The doctor said I should stop when I'm tired. That's OK, we can come back if we need anything else. Thanks. About time. Sorry to have kept you, Mr Danvers. Do you want to take a seat? Interview commencing at 15.05. Present at D.I. Manson, D.C. Moss, Drake Danvers and Mr Brumfield. That's Nicole. What's happening to her? Yeah, she's a little shaken, but she'll be OK. <sighs> all right. Look, I did it, all right? I've been pulling these scams, buying jewellery and medals, but keeping hold of the cash. Anything I hear about on the streets or seeing the small lads, whatever, I admit it. To be honest with you, Drake, I was expecting a bit more of a mind game. My solicitor's told me what evidence you've got, the receipts. And I'm guessing you've got me on CCTV down at the club, so can you just bail me and let me out of here? Is there somewhere you have to be? I'm claustrophobic. Right. Oh, we can get you a doctor if you want. <laughs> it's not that bad. I just want to be with Nicole. I'm sure you do. She's a sweet girl. She thinks the world of you. If you're so prepared to confess, tell us where the money is. It's long gone. Five grand in six weeks, on top of all your bookings. Everyone's got a weakness, right? Mine's the bookies. I know, it's stupid, but I can't help it. So you steal to fund a gambling habit? That's what I said. If I sign whatever you want me to, admitting to conning a bunch of gimmers out of some old tap, will you concentrate on keeping her safe? Who from? From whoever attacked her. 
Where are you going? I told you I'd done it. Just bail me and let me out of here. I need to see Nicole. Interview terminated at 15.08. You take him back to the cells, please. He seems pretty desperate to be released. Perhaps he just wants to be with Nicole. Maybe, but I don't buy a story about having a gambling problem, though. We've checked his bank accounts. He's not exactly flush, but he's not spending a lot either. No sign of any debt. Well, we only checked his place briefly as a crime scene, as it weren't sending a uniform over there to search thoroughly for stolen goods. Yeah, they may turn something up. I didn't think you were the romantic type. Are you having trouble? Yeah, it's weird. Look, that one's got your beak, have you? No, I've got it. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's obviously more luck than judgment. I thought the DI said that Drake blew it all at the bookies. Come and listen to this. So Drake's being blackmailed. Right, one four seven one shows that this was the number the call was dialed from. Check to see if he's registered for me. Sierra Oscar from six eight six. Can I do a check on a mobile now, number? Miss, in the back of the drawer in the bedroom, Sarge, it's an old passport with Nicole's picture, but under the name Nicole Kendall. So Nicole's changed her identity. Hmm. Why? What's she trying to hide? Maybe she has some kind of dodgy past, and the blackmailer's threatened to expose it. And now Drake's conning people to play the blackmail off. Possibly. Sard, it's an unregistered pay as you go phone. Okay, get your stuff. Let's go back to the Nick and Passes on the CID. Sarge. Sarge. Hope you got the money, Drake. Pay me tonight or your girlfriend gets a nasty blast from the past. Try your mobile at five. Well, that explains why Drake was so keen to own up to the thefts and get out of custody. I was expecting a call from his blackmailer. You think this blackmailer's got something to do with Nicole's true identity? Ben's running checks on Nicole Kendall now. Okay, Will, get onto the provider of the mobile that made that call. Get a list of incoming and outgoing calls over the last 48 hours. That might give us a lead as to who owns the phone. Job. Right, Nicole Kendall, formerly of number 17 Tallwin Road, Edgware. No previous convictions, but she was a victim of domestic violence four times between 2006 and 2008. She dropped charges every time, nothing for the last six months. So nothing since she's been with Drake, then? Mm -mm. Who's the perpetrator? Uh, Ryan Prescott. Previous an ABH, drunk and disorderly, public nuisance. Well, Nicole was scared enough to change her name after she left this Ryan, so maybe he's the nasty blast from the past that the message is referring to. Do you think Ryan could be the one who's blackmailing Drake and Nicole? Or he could be Nicole's attacker. Or both. Let's check out Ryan's whereabouts this morning and see if there's any evidence of contact between them. Thank you. Tough. Thanks very much. OK, so the neighbours reckon that Ryan moved to America after he split with his girlfriend a few months ago and they haven't seen him since. Thank God with their words, so it doesn't sound like the sort of bloke you want to borrow a cup of sugar from. Well, we can confirm that with immigration. If it is true, it's going to rule him out of the attack on Nicole this morning. No, if Ryan has moved on, he's out of the assault and the blackmail. Well, perhaps it's time to find out what Drake can tell us. I hope you don't mind, but we had a look about your house. Picked up your messages for you. We know about the blackmail, Drake. We know someone is expecting you to give them money tonight, and we believe it's got something to do with Nicole's ex, Ryan Prescott. He's no case. You're not the type. Gets his jollies controlling women. Nicole put up with it for a while, but then she got so scared, she ran. Changed her name, changed jobs, moved halfway across the city. We were safe. I was looking after her. A few weeks back, I get this phone call from this bloke saying that he was quite happy to tell this Ryan where Nicole was. What did Nicole have to say about that? I haven't told her. She's terrified of Prescott. The bloke on the phone said he wanted five grand off me to keep his mouth shut. I mean, you've seen the club. I get the old corporate gig now and again, but... Yeah, well, I've seen you. You're not bad. Yeah, they're few and far between, trust me. I don't make that kind of money normally. 
So you started conning people out of their stuff? For Nicole, to keep her safe. Drake, Ryan's no longer living in the country. He's living in America. We've checked with immigration and he's, he's not been here for four months. Then the bloke on the phone has just been winding me up? Afraid so. <laughs> then he can forget about his money. Well, you going ahead with the handover gives us the best chance to arrest him. What do you mean? We organise a sting operation so we can catch him with the cash. We'll be there the whole time. Well, I don't know. Well, we can't rule out the possibility that this blackmailer hasn't got something to do with Nicole's attack this morning. I mean, were you dragging your heels paying up? Is it some sort of warning? I'm not a crim. I don't know how their minds work. But I've done everything this bloke wanted. I love her. I'd never risk her getting hurt. You've only known each other a few months. Sometimes you just know, don't you? What happened to that necklace you had on? The fire dragon. Glass broke. Should we just concentrate? Will you promise me you'll keep Nicole out of it? She was a nervous wreck when I first met her. I don't want to bring all this up again. Even the mention of Ryan's name. For our purposes, the fewer people who know about this, the better. Can I see her? No. The, the blackmailer's calling again at five and we need you here so that we can record the phone call from your mobile. We'll take good care of her, don't worry. Ah, uh, Smithy, have you got someone spurred to pick up Nicole from the hospital, take her somewhere safe? Friends or relatives, make sure she feels protected. Yeah, I'll get better on to it. Thanks. Well, Drake seemed genuine enough. Oh, yeah, he's genuine unless he's reading your mind or calling you out of your money. Nice. Yeah, have you got a problem with him? What was all that stuff about your necklace? Nothing. Thinks he's got something on me that he hasn't. Gov? She's seen a list of the black man's outgoing phone records. One of the numbers called several times in the last few days. He's registered to a Leanne Harper. So whoever's blackmailing Drake knows Leanne? Most of the calls were made in the vicinity of the flat she shares with her fiancé, Patrick Stanley. OK, we'll run a PNC, see what you find. Well, I've already done that, Gov. Looks like Drake Danvers is not the only mind reader in the building. Huh. Patrick has got form for ABH and possession of cannabis from five years ago. He was arrested in a barroom brawl alongside... Ryan Prescott. So it's possible Patrick knows Prescott used to knock Nicole about? I think we've got a prime suspect. Okay, let's not mention it to Drake for now. If he's going to be convincing during the sting, the less he knows, the better. We just wait for Patrick to call. Hmm. I hate this bit. So, do you remember anything else on him I ever touch him? Still just a blur. We're doing everything we can to catch him. Does that mean you've got a suspect? Oh, not as yet, but we'll get them soon enough, don't worry. But until then, if you remember anything, anything at all, no matter how small or insignificant it might seem, then... You don't have to do this. I can just go and get a taxi. Ah, it's all part of the service. Son, he was very committed in supporting victims of crime. He probably won't feel too safe going home until Drake gets back, so in the meantime, is there anywhere else you'd like me to take you? I thought I'd go to my mum's. Do you know when you might release Drake? He should be bailed soon. After you. You know what it is you've got to do when the blackmailer calls? Stall for more time to get the money together. That's right. Try and take control. Suggest your house. It's easy to set up a surveillance there. If that fails, pick somewhere neutral where there won't be too many people about, OK? You can do this, Drake. Just think of how you are when you're on stage. Be confident. I'm sorry. It's just not something I'm used to. I'm supposed to be the one who knows what's going on behind the scenes, how the trick is played. I don't like being the mark. You'll be fine. Well, we've got about five minutes, so why don't you show us a trick? I mean, my boss is a bit of a fan. Yeah? Just watching, or you got a few tricks up your sleeve yourself? No, not for ages. Well, nothing that I'm going to show a pro, anyway. Give him a shuffle, pick one out, show it to the beautiful lady over here, and then put it back in the deck. All right, you can give him another shuffle if you like. I don't mind. No, it's fine. Look into my eyes. I'm now going to shuffle him again and find your card. Hello? Don't talk, just listen. Put the five grand in the end cubicle of the gents' toilets at the club just before you go on stage. No, look, look, that's no good. I need more time. Hello? 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 I'm sorry he wasn't having any of it. Don't talk, just listen. Put the five grand in the end cubicle of the gents' toilets at the club just before you go on stage. It's all right, Drake. You didn't give you a chance. It's OK. It's short notice, but uh, we'll work something out. Don't worry, Drake. We'll catch him. Gonna get someone to stay with you while we organise a briefing, all right? Um... Sorry. That's my warrant card. 
Look inside. Ah! Ta-da! Very good. This is Jimmy Russett. He runs the place. He's aware of the operation. He's on side. There are three entrances into the club. The main entrance here, fire escape here, and a kitchen entrance here. Ben and Sally, we'd like you to be outside in an unmarked car giving us the tip-off of who's coming in and when. And the rest of us will all be wearing earpieces, so be discreet with them, yeah? Drake's been instructed to drop the cash just before he goes on stage. Now, we assume the blackmailer is going to pick it up during his act, so someone needs to be watching the gents at all times. Now, you've all got a photograph of our chief suspect, Patrick Stanley. When Drake comes in, keep him under wraps. I want you to pay special attention to him. Follow him every time he goes to the gents, then hang around, check the system, see if the money's gone. It's all glamour and CID. Right, for those of you who don't know, this is Drake Danvers. He's going to be helping us with the operation. Sure about what you've got to do? Take the money inside the system just before I go on. Yeah. Now, Will's going to follow you in there, make sure no one approaches you, but don't speak to him and don't open the bag. The money's covered in a special chemical that'll show up under UV light so we can prove who's touched it. Right. Just do your act as normal. We need a code word in case you feel like you're in danger. Something that you wouldn't normally say during your act. Now that's magic! <laughs> <clears throat> Two minutes, and you're on. in position, go. See? So where's Patrick? Ladies and gentlemen, and all you undecided types, give it up for Drake Danvers! <laughs> oh, I really got to give up smoking. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you of a nervous disposition, I just want to reassure you, I'm not one of those flashy Vegas-type magicians who comes on stage and starts blowing things up and wrestling with Siberian tigers. Now, a couple of card tricks, maybe a bunch of flowers and a rabbit. That's all you're going to get from me. And to be honest with you, I get hay fever, so the rabbit might not even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry though, ladies and gentlemen. The tiger is perfectly harmless. Oh. I think we've lost the governor. Any sign of our suspect yet? Seven zero, we have target one entering the premises now. Over. Is that your card? <laughs> I got eyeball on target one. Is that your wallet? Car keys? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why doesn't he make a move? Is this your old bat? <laughs> Sorry, no offence, love. <laughs> what are they doing here? Maybe they're involved somehow. Yeah, it is. Patrick's fiance. Maybe they're just here for a night out. Although, why they choose this place is completely beyond me. 7-0, we have Leanne and her grandfather just turning up and entering the premises now, over. Received. You're a man of decent husband, isn't you? Uh, yeah, Jimmy, how you doing, mate? I bet he's the sort when he buys flowers when they're half price at the petrol station, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, All right, happy to see you again. Have this one on me, mate. <laughs> Target one's moving towards the toilets. Oh, great, this is just what we need. You got it, take it out here, you pop. gonna kick off here. Yep, move in, move in. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down! Ben, Sally, target one's making his way towards you. I've 
Grab cable, apprehend over. Wait, what's doing? Where do you think you're going? What? Patrick Stanley, I'm arresting you for a fray. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. That went spectacularly well, didn't it? Let's go get the money before some cleaner walks up. God, it's gone. What? The money, it's gone. No, that's magic. Who took that money? Did you see anyone going into the toilet during that fight? No, God, I was too busy stopping myself getting the head kicked in. Is Stevie onto that CCTV? Yeah, it should show us who took the cash, Gov. And why did Danny attack Patrick? They never said anything about any family tensions. Well, maybe Danny found out Patrick was trying to blackmail his mate Drake. It's possible. It wouldn't surprise me if news of Patrick's plan got out. Everyone seems to know each other in that place. Well, we've got Leon talking to Leanne now. She may be able to shed some light as to why Danny went for Patrick. Yeah. On my way. Stevie's got the footage from the club. Ben and Sally were posted outside the main entrance, so no one could have got in that way or via the kitchen entrance without being spotted, so. The only other entrance is in the fire escape. Who's got the key? Jimmy, rest of the staff. That's the way Drake takes his props up. Oh, that's a woman heading up there at 1903. Nicole. Well, she could have got hold of Drake's keys at any time. I've just been with Leanne. She's in absolute floods. She told me why Danny called Patrick a two-time and get. Don't tell me, let me guess. Patrick and Nicole are having an affair. Yeah, how did you know? It's a lateral thing in the CID brain, isn't it, Gov? Poor Drake. So much a bit of mind reader. Well, after arrest Nicole, who's going to tell Drake? We've arrested Patrick Stanley for blackmail, but he didn't have the money on him. Patrick? He knew Ryan Prescott, so he knew what to say to make you cough up. What's he done with the money? We believe that Patrick had an accomplice who picked up the money when the fight kicked off. Someone else was involved? Yeah. Is this someone I know? Not Danny. I thought he was a mate. Was it Jimmy? I'm really sorry, Drake. It was Nicole. Nix? No, 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 no. You got it wrong. We've got CCTV footage of Nicole entering the club via the fire escape at 1903 and leaving a few minutes later with the cash. Look. Why would she do that? We were happy. We checked Patrick's phone and there were numerous phone calls and texts to Nicole. Calls? Texts? What do you mean? I'm so sorry, Drake. We think they were having an affair. No. Oh. I know it's hard, mate. Can I see it? Well, we're going to have to arrest Nicole for conspiracy to blackmail. She's at the house. I could come with you. I don't think that would be a good idea. Please. I have to see her. Okay, but you stay out of our way, yeah? You all right, mate? What's been going on? What's with the escort? Nicole, this is my colleague, Dion Manson. Nicole, could you put your hands out like this for us, please? Hey, can you stop this? What's going on? You've got some crazy idea you're trying to do me out of five grand. Nicole, you your hands. Okay. Nicole Picker and I'm arresting you on suspicion of conspiracy to blackmail. Drake. I don't have to say anything, but it may I'm really defense. sorry, I never meant to hurt you. Defense. Stop talking. Drake, please. Stop you talking. Get a scare out of here before I pupil you.
For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing the suspect exhibit SM2. Nicole, this isn't money that we recovered from your bag in the house that you share with Drake Danvers. Can you tell me how it came to be in your possession? No comment. Okay, we treated this money with a chemical that shows up under UV light. When we shone a UV light onto your hands, they were covered in that chemical. We know you handled the money. No comment. Nicole, I know you're not in this alone. I know you didn't make those phone calls. I know you didn't threaten Drake. So why should you be the one taking the rap for it? No comment. Tell me about your relationship with Patrick. Leon told us about the affair. She assault you in revenge? I deserved it, didn't I? I don't know. I mean, I can understand. Must have been tiring living with Drake, that constant stream of banter. Drake's been really good to me. He took care of me. After I left Ryan, I needed someone. But... You don't love him? No. You do love Patrick? to get away. A few grand to start over. So you decided to blackmail Drake? I didn't know he was going to steal to get that money. You, you wouldn't tell Drake that I'm sorry, would you? How did it go? Well, Patrick gave it all up. So did Nicole. She gave Leanne up as her attacker as well. We were eventually a fair. Mm -hmm. Has Leanne got any form for violence? No, but Nicole doesn't want to press charges anyway, so... What's happening with Danny? He's about to be bailed or released. OK, do you want to see him and Leanne out for us, please? Oh, yeah. Drake said he'll wait for Nicole at the front desk, apparently. Oh, talk to me. What are you going to say? I don't know. I think it's something. You know me, Gov. I'm famed for my tact and sensitivity. Thanks, Sam. Huh? You look after it this time. Stay off the white stuff as well. Come on, I'll show you out. And watch that temper of yours as well, yeah? Let's look after each other, yeah? We ain't got much choice of we, we're all we've got. It's more than some. Take care. It looks like we both picked a rubber. No hard feelings, yeah? About the watch? Okay. Any chance I could talk to her? To Nicole? I was a bit overwhelmed at the house. I think that's a good idea. I just need to know whether we've got a chance or whether I should just pack her things up and change the locks. I'd change the locks if I were you. You know the thing that really turns my stomach? If she'd come up to me and told me that she'd met someone else and she needed money to move on, I'd probably given her anyway. That's how stupid I am. That's not stupid, Drake. It's just... Love, it makes us all crazy sometimes. Yeah. What crazy thing did you do for the fire dragon guy? I don't know what you mean. Or did you send him mad, is that it? Poor bloke. I hope he got over it, wherever it was. Send him my condolences if you see him again. Oh, I'm sorry. Is your famous tact and sensitivity letting you down a bit? No, it's just not very big on relationships at the moment. Can't blame him. No one copes well with betrayal, do they? Next time on the bill. Did you find heroin in this locker? That girl is on the edge, Terry. Now this is my interview. No, it isn't. There's a vacancy at witness protection. So what's this I hear about you leaving? Molly!